ready in a minute's notice. And it'll only be a minute or so until the Minutemen of UMass take the field in Amherst and they hope to lock their sights on a home victory. That's going to do it here in the studio, but don't worry, we'll be keeping your finger on the pulse of everything that's going on everywhere else across the country. But right now, it's time for kickoff, and ESPN's college football, Brad Nessler and Kirk Herbstreet are on the call. UMass Stadium and Amherst, home of the largest public university in New England. Hello, football fans. Brad Nessler here, along with Kirk Herbstreet in the booth and Aaron Andrews on the sidelines. Tonight's primetime matchup is brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. And it's between the Eagles and the Minutemen. between these two clubs when you talk about rankings. Sometimes, though, when you have a real mismatch, you get the favorite playing a little bit lazy for the underdog having the game of their lives. I'm curious to see how this one will shake out. It's time for the coin toss now, presented by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. See how this game plays out as they get ready for the opening kickoff. Excellent kick. He's to the 10. And he's taken down at the 26. Kickoff returns 26 yards. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. Little handoff. They'll bring him down at the 37. If you can consistently run effectively like this, it'll force the defense to pay more attention to the run, and that creates chances in the play-action passing game. First and 10. Ball on the 37. Nice run, and he's brought down. From their own 42 yard line, second down. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. Number six. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. I think you got to give credit to the big boys up front there. They're able to get this back to room that he needed. From their own 49-yard line. First down. He tackles him for a loss. Maybe a yard on the run by the tailback. It's second down and 11 to go. Ball on the 49. Hands it to the back. And down he goes around the 43-yard line. Nice blocking on the counter, and he was able to pick up around eight yards. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. And this stadium is alive. Back to pass. That's a great tackle at the 47. Boy, Brett, that was a big hit on the quarterback. We're going to be interested to see how he responds from this hit and whether or not he comes after his offensive lineman and challenges them to start playing a little bit better.
He's tackled at the 21-yard line. Returned for a gain of four yards. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. And he carries the ball for a nice game. That's good for a gain of five yards. That brings up second and five. We'll wait and see here if he really does change the play. Quick strike to the receiver. Brought down at the 36. This guy has that innate ability to get just enough distance from a defender to make a completion possible. You don't see it from every receiver, but this guy's got it. From their own 36-yard line, it's first down. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Catches it, and he's looking for more. And he's tackled right around the 42-yard line. That's a game of six on the play. That'll make it second and four. Makes the first down catch. And he's taken down at the 45-yard line. That makes it first and ten. made at the 38. That'll bring up second and three. He's taken down right around the 36-yard line. That'll make it 31. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun, five wide receivers. And they hit him in the backfield. Loss of two on the play. That makes it fourth and four. So they're going to go for it here. Back to pass. Zips it right. And so now the ball's turned over on downs. Every drive's important in a tie game. I look for both sides to come out with some urgency. Tackle around the 36-yard line. Even though they lost yards, they shouldn't get away from the ground game. Keep pounding it away. It keeps the defense honest, and it creates opportunities in the passing game. So it's second and 12. Ball on their own 36. He gets another carry. Tackled after a decent pickup. It's third and nine. Ball on the 40-yard line. This crowd is almost shaking the stadium. Throws in a hurry. Got it. Complete. He's out of bounds. First Perfect timing here between the quarterback and the wide receiver. That's a big gain and more than enough for the first down. From the 37-yard line, first down. Good outside run there. Good for a gain of six yards. That'll make it second and four. They're about four yards away here on second down. They go with the run. He's at the 20. Makes it to the 11. There's nothing more effective that a team can do offensively than to pound the ball right at the defense, trying to wear them down. From the 11-yard line, first down. Drops back to pass. 
He's tackled at the two. Picks up about nine on the scramble. That brings up second and one. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. All the big boys are on the field now. Both teams have their big sets out there. On the run, touchdown! It takes a lot of strength to run it when you're heading into a massive pile of bodies. Good job of holding on to it and getting it across the goal line. Boston College. Up six. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A six play, 63 yard drive, and it's good for seven points. Boy, this offense right now is just being physical, really controlling the line of scrimmage, and it's opening up some nice big lanes for the running backs. So our score, seven nothing from the five yard line. And he makes it out to about the 27 yard line. They'll set up shop at the 27. Option. He has some room. He's to the 40. He's at midfield. And they make the stop around the 44-yard line. for his man incomplete number 19 the intended receiver on the play that makes it second and 10 from the 44 yard line it's second down they come out on an empty backfield they'll bring him down at the 37 yard line that's a game of seven in the play that makes it third and three He's changing things up. Looking to pass here on third and short. He's under some heat. Great pressure on the quarterback forced that incompletion. Boy, they really pounded him on that throw. And it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. Looking to throw. And they got it. Not quite enough for the first. Looks like they'll turn it over on downs. You know what? I think they still made the right call there. And offense is back on the field after running the ball very well on their last drive. This offensive line really opened up some big gaps for the running back last time. Looks to pass. And he's level at the 50. What a throw for a big game. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. Boston College is up seven. Gives it to the back. Gains his way to the 33-yard line. Maybe after a nice run like that, you try to go up in the air for the play-action pass. We played one. Boston College leads 7-0. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 33. Run. The halfback with a carry. Runs outside for a nice game. He gets four, maybe five yards on the counter. From the 28-yard line. Second down. Knock him down for a loss.
Third down, and they need to get it to the 23. This crowd in full throat right now. They go to the screen here, and the halfback's got it. And down he goes around the 18-yard line. Game 13 on the play. First down. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 18-yard line. Boston College is up by a touchdown. Cut. They go with the back, and he's got room. Huge play, and it's going to be first and goal. They've got a solid drive going here. And I know it's not going to mean that much without putting some points up on the board. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. On the handoff, he will score. And once again, he finds the end zone. That's his second rushing touchdown of the game. This guy has great vision out of the backfield. Even if a hole isn't there, he's patient enough to wait for one to open, and then he hits it. And he adds the extra point. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Fielded at the four. They bring him down and they bring him down hard on that one. They'll go to work at the 21. He looks to throw on first down. Quick throw, almost intercepted. Number 23 on the coverage. That makes it second and 10. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 21. They'll option left. Pitches out and the ball is up for grabs. The 10. Touchdown, BC. Great play here by the defender. You know, it's trickier than it looks to scoop up a loose ball and then get your motor started. But he's able to do it and made that play look smooth for the touchdown. He makes the PAT. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Taken from the three-yard line. He's to the 20. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. They'll start this drive at the 26. First down and back to pass. Fires out to his wideout. Brought down around the 39-yard line. Looks like he might audible out of that play. They bring him down in the backfield. That is a loss of two yards. That'll bring up second and 12. From their own 37-yard line, it's second down. He lets it go. The pass falls incomplete. Number 31 was the intended receiver on the play. That brings up third and 12. Third and 12. Ball on their own 37. He drops back. And he tackles him hard at the 39-yard line. They go to the air and pick up a couple. This was just a little dump-off pass to the halfback, but it was very well defended, keeping them from moving the ball very far downfield.
And he just got stood up right there. This drive will start at the 17. He tackles him for a loss. Well, this is the kind of play you want to see if you're a defensive player, because not only is it a negative play, but this can really impact and affect the emotion of the game. Just looking down and looking at the energy on the field and even on the sidelines, you can see that the defense is fired up after that play. From their own 13-yard line, second down. And he's tackled right around the 12-yard line. Did you see how that big defensive line got such a good push on that play? That's exactly why they were able to stop him for a loss. From their own 12-yard line, it's third down. Back to pass. He lets it fly. And got him! And he's taken down at the 37. Gain of 51 on the play. First down. When you blitz, you're leaving your corners on an island in man coverage. And if those guys can't keep up with their man, you can give up some long completions like this one. It's first down and 10 now after picking up some great yardage through the air. <laughs> Quick strike and he drops it. Number one was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. Second down, ten to go. Ball on the 37. He's taken down around the 36-yard line. That'll make it 39. And once again, they'll come to the line, try to convert on third down. He drops back. He's under pressure. And here's a quick throw. Incomplete pass. There's one the quarterback would like to rewind because he has a wide open receiver and he just misfires. So it's fourth down and the offense is still on the field. Back to pass. Quick out to his receiver. Tackle made at the 24-yard line. Gain of 12 on the play. First down. When you can move the ball downfield in big chunks like that, you've got the defense right where you want them. It's first and ten. Ball on the 24. He makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. A one-yard gain by the halfback. You're not going to be able to get by a sure tackler like this linebacker too often. From the 23-yard line, second down. Tries to get around the corner. Very good tackle in space. The halfback gets a couple there on the counter. Third down, eight yards to go. Ball on the 21. tackle right around the 22-yard line. The offensive line needs to do a better job of not only handling the defensive linemen, but getting up to the linebackers. That way the ball carriers will have a little bit more room to get to that second level. Let's it fly. Not sure about that play call as they fail on fourth down. They'll take over at the 22. He's back to pass here on first down. Got it complete. He's out of bounds. He is such a reliable target. You throw it anywhere near him, and this guy's going to get his hands on it and make a catch.
First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 37. Inside handoff. Nice run up the middle. They got a few yards there, but they need to be thinking bigger right now. From their own 41-yard line, it's second down. Makes the catch and look out. Tackle right around the 44-yard line. That one goes for good yardage and a first down. Yeah, that's just a nice gain on second down. He's looking to pass. Throws and it's incomplete. Number 26, the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and 10. From the 44-yard line, second down. And they make the stop at the 47. Well, I think it's safe to say the defense had his number on that one. It can be very frustrating for a running back when he stopped before he even gets going. UMass will take their second time out of the half. It's the tailback. They'll bring him down around the 45-yard line. The running back gets two on the carry. That brings up fourth and 11. It looks like they're going to go after this punt. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. I think the defense jumped the gun a little bit on that play. Still, still fourth down. This punt, if he gets it where he wants, it can really change the field position in this football game. There's a and it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. We've got a flag down on the field. Might have been offside. Fourth down. Looks like they're going to go for it on fourth down. They're all tied in on the line here on fourth and short. Got a man. Watch out here. And down he goes at the 32. That's a gain of three on the play. First down. There was some movement along the line. Let's get the call. Concentration laps right there. The coaches will be giving them an earful for it, too. First and five. Ball on the 27. And he is drilled at the 22-yard line. He might be playing a cat and mouse game here with the defense. That makes it first and ten. Drops back on first down. Good tackle there in space. Nothing going on that play. Well, here I think the quarterback needs to be a little bit more patient in the pocket. That way he can allow his receivers to get downfield a little bit before he throws it. And they tack on three points. We played a half of football. The Eagles lead 21-3. We've got the we are set to start the second half. Both teams are on the field, and we're ready to go. He'll return it from the six. Tackle made at the 26-yard line. The second half is underway. Here's a quick look at the first half highlights.
This crowd is going to try their best to help out the offense now. They'd love to be cheering for a touchdown when this drive's over. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives that they want to get back in the game. Quickly to the tight end, incomplete. Number 87 was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second, second down and 10 to go. Ball on their own 26. Looking to throw. Throws to the receiver, incomplete. From their own 26-yard line, third down. Looks to pass. Quick strike to the receiver. And he's level at the 43. That was more than enough to pick up the first down. Next time, this defense will be playing on their heels. Drops back to pass. Quick pass. And he's shoved out of bounds around the 15-yard line. He found his halfback and turned it into a big game. This kid is a very versatile back. He can run the ball. He can make the catch. But what you don't notice is his blocking. This guy's just an all-around player. Huge play, and it's going to be first and goal. They've got a solid drive going here. And I know it's not going to mean that much without putting some points up on the board. Defense and their short yardage package. Tackled after a decent pickup. It's power against power right now on the field. Both teams have their jumbo sets out there. They're not done yet. That was a very good all-around effort. The running, the blocking, the entire package. A well-deserved score. He splits the uprights with the extra point. So that's a seven-play, 74-yard drive, and they put up seven points. You know, we knew all week that this quarterback had the ability to make big plays. But right now, he has so much time to throw, and his receivers are doing such a good job. But right now, it's just pitch and catch against this defense. Fielded at the four. Oh, it's the kicker that comes up with a tackle. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. Gonna go across the middle, caught, brought down at the 42. Nice pickup as they connect on the pass play. Well, they look to be in sync right now. They're both reading the defense properly, and the result is a nice gain. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. And they'll bring him down behind the line. Hopefully he's gonna be okay. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. Drops back to pass. Throws to the receiver, and he's got it again. Makes the catch. Number 44 makes the tackle at the 48-yard line. That makes it first and 10. First and ten. Ball on the 48. And he's tackled around the 44-yard line. Four yards on that play. You know, little passes like this force the defense to start to come up. Then you can see an offense take their chances downfield later to take advantage of the defense starting to cheat up. From the 44-yard line, 
It's second down. Tackled after a decent run up the gut. Nice run there by the tailback, and it's good for the first. Well, that's a strong run. It makes a statement when you can run the ball like that. From the 37-yard line, it's first down. And he's tackled after positive yardage. So they get five yards there on the halfback draw. That brings up second and five. Second and five coming up here. Ball on the 32. And he's stopped behind the line. Well, this is the kind of play you want to see if you're a defensive player because not only is it a negative play, but this can really impact and affect the emotion of the game. Just looking down and looking at the energy on the field and even on the sidelines, you can see that the defense is fired up after that play. Delivers to the halfback on the screen. And he's taken down at about the 19-yard line. Some nice touch on that throw. A screen can be tricky to execute because you're actually allowing the defense to come right at you as a quarterback. And that's what you want. But one missed block, and it could easily result in lost yardage. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 19. Inside the 10. He can't miss. Touchdown, Eagles. An excellent pass to the wideout for six. That wide receiver had his eyes on the end zone the second he caught the ball. That was a nice-looking play. He hits the PAT. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He'll take it from the two. He's to the 10. He makes it out maybe to the 26 yard line. They'll start this drive at the 26. Give to the tailback. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Excellent job by the defense to bring him down inbounds. Keep that clock moving. Appears that he's changing things up here before the snap. It's a fumble. They fall on it. You'll never know what kind of effect this could have on him, but you can be sure they'll go to him again. The offense will start at the 31-yard line. He drops back. Out to the tailback, and he dropped it. From the 31-yard line. Second down. made around the 31 yard line no game third down third down and they need to get it to the 21 going for it all to the end zone that was a nice play anything you can do without being penalized to prevent the offense from moving forward is always a plus so it's fourth down. It's fourth down, and they're going to try to go for it. Back to pass. Deep pass to the end zone. 
Oh, he had a shot at the picks. Defense stiffens on fourth down, and the ball will change hands. They'll start at the 31. Inside give. Makes it out to about the 39. The defender wanted a head start, and they certainly got him for it. That's just a discipline thing there. It's five free yards, and that could hurt. First down and five to go. Ball on the 36. Hand off inside. Nice run, and he's brought down. Gain of six on this That makes it first and ten. They're calling an audible. Inside handoff. He's taken down at about the 47 yard line. That's good for a gain of 11 yards. First down. They'll change the play at the line of scrimmage. Takes the ball inside. And he hits him hard at the 47 yard line. And the halfback's got nowhere to go. There was simply no daylight on that play. The defender came in and dropped the hammer. Second and nine coming up here. Ball on the 47. Caught with room to work. Tackle at the 25. What a throw for a big game. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. He may have changed things up here. Nice run there. You wonder if they'll go to the no huddle here. Not a lot of time left. That'll make it second and four. They'll spread the field with five wide. On the throw, incomplete pass. Number 18 was the intended receiver on the play. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. Five wide. He's in for the score, and they're back in it. These guys need to be aware this aerial attack is capable of making some big plays. They've got to get on their toes. on the extra point. A nice seven play, 65 yard drive, and they get it in for seven. You know, the defensive coordinator and the poor linebackers who are trying to get everybody lined up right, they just don't know what's coming next. You know, they're trying to read tendencies. They're trying to get an idea based on the personnel that's in the game. Hey, here comes a run, and then, you know, here's a play action pass behind them. Every time they think it's a pass, the offense seems to be running. Right now, this balanced attack is really causing a lot of confusion for this defense. He's tackled at the 23. Well, player down, and his teammates obviously worried after that play. They'll set up shot at the 23-yard line. And he just gets rid of it. Great job by the defense at getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. From their own 23-yard line, second down. On the ground, up the middle. Nice run up the middle. With a run. Call it a gain of seven yards. That makes it third and three. They need about three yards to get the first down. Here on third down. Got a throw here on third and short. 
Now he's scrambling. They'll bring him down at the 43-yard line. It's a good job of converting on third down with the running game. That makes it first and ten. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 43. They go right back to him, and he's got a lane. Makes it to the 47. And that'll be a gain of 10 by the running back. That'll make it second and inches. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. He's looking to pass. He's tackled at the 38. Call it a gain of nine yards. First down. With an injury update, here's Aaron Andrews. Thanks, Brad. He came off the field holding his lower back. He's in too much pain to keep playing, and the feeling is that this injury will keep him out for another game at least. Brad, back to you upstairs. Hopefully he isn't out for too many games. Thanks for that update, Aaron. And they make the stop at the 33-yard line. He ran a good route there and was able to pick up yards underneath the coverage. It's okay to move the ball in small portions because it relaxes the offense and can open things up for the big play. Well, this turned out to be a pretty good ball game, and we've got one quarter to go. Boston College is in front by 11. From the 33-yard line, it's second down. They hand it off. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. The halfback picks up maybe five yards on the draw play. This is the eighth play of this drive. They try running left. Up the middle for a nice game. They've got a solid drive going here. But I know it's not going to mean that much without putting some points up on the board. It's first and ten. Ball in the 23. And down he goes at the 25-yard line. Well, you can really mess with an offense's game plan if you can take away their ability to run. From the 25-yard line, second down. Tackled after a decent pickup. They've looked good so far on third down in this drive. Let's see what happens here. What a play to set him up with a first and goal. That's the third time they've converted on third down on this drive. When you can stay on the field in these kind of situations, you're doing something right. Boston College looks to take a commanding three-score lead here. There's the handoff. He scores. That's his third trip to the end zone. If I were the head coach of this football team, I would give him the ball at least 30 times a game. He makes the PAT. They line up to kick this one away. Fielded at the four. 
He makes it to the 28-yard line. The offense now will take the field, and they hope to have the same success they had on their last drive. Here's the halfback. Brought down right around the 38-yard line. Tailback picks up a good-looking 10 yards on the draw. That could be a check with me right there. On the ground, inside. He gets it out to about the 47-yard line. That makes it first and 10. Looks like he might audible out of that play. Fires out to his wideout. And he's tackled right around the 44-yard line. Number 19 makes the tackle at the 44-yard line. That brings up second and one. We'll wait and see here if he really does change the play. Looks to pass. Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. The pass results in a first down. I'll tell you, great call by the coaches on first down. It stretches the defense when they're expecting the run, and then they end up with another first down. Little handoff. Gains his way to the 10-yard line. Trying to confuse the defense here with the audible. And he tackles him hard at the one. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. They're packed in tight on the line. Hands it off, and he's in for the score. That was a very good all-around effort. The running, the blocking, the entire package. A well-deserved score. So those big guys are going to walk away knowing they had a big hand in that score. They'll go for two in this situation. Give it off here. And the defense stops the ground game. No two-point conversion there. A seven-play, 71-yard drive. And they'll come away with six points after failing on the two-point conversion. You know, the balanced attack by this offense right now is, is really keeping this defense on their heels. And when you can run the football. That's the key to having a balanced attack. It just seems to open up everything else within that offense because the defense has to respect you running the football. Ball is loose. Fumble. And he's tackled at the 29-yard line. They nearly gave that ball away. But luckily, that guy was paying attention to what was going on and was able to recover the football. From their own 29-yard line, first down. And he carries the ball for a nice game. The tailback picks up a solid seven yards on the counter play. That'll bring up second and three. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. And he's taken down at the 38-yard line. That's a gain of two on the play. Third down. So it's third down, and they're just inches away from picking up the first down. Here's a running play. He makes his way to about the 48. It's great when a running attack comes through for the first down like this. It makes an offense so much more versatile. From their own 48-yard line, first down. Less than three minutes in the game. It's the tailback. Gets out to around the 32. That's good for a gain of 20 yards. The defense doesn't seem to have an answer right now. They might need to change up some of their schemes. First down, 10 to go. 
Ball on the 32. Tackle made at about the 29-yard line. UMass just took their first time out. That makes it second and eight. Up the middle. He's at the 20. Gets out to around the 18. And this play is number eight on the drive. First down. Little handoff. Huge play, and it's going to be first and goal. UMass will take their last time out. Fights forward to about the seven. Second down, goal to go. Ball on the seven. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Gain of four yards. That makes it third and goal. Here it is, folks. Third and goal from the two. They put everyone up on the line. There was some movement along the line. Let's get the call. This is where the defense makes a name for themselves. It's third down and goal from the one. play to the left and that rushing touchdown should put this one away Kirk under a minute left he splits the uprights with the extra point Boston College is lining up to kick this one off. It's fielded at the two. He's to the 10. They'll bring him down at the 30. Flags are down, and this one might be on the offense. That penalty will move him back a bit. Yeah, and with so many young guys out there, it's bound to happen occasionally. I'm sure there are a lot of fans out there hoping for a miracle, but I seriously doubt we're going to see one today. They'll give it off here. He's taken down around the 32-yard line. They'll change the play at the line of scrimmage. That makes it first and ten. The spike will stop the clock. From their own 32-yard line, second down. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five-wide outlook. Drops back to pass. He heaves it deep. Can't pull it in. I like the scheme the defensive coordinator came up with here. They were all over the place on that play and left the quarterback nowhere to throw it. It's third and ten. Ball on their own 32. He's going to air it long. He hauls it in. Down the sideline. The 10. Touchdown, Touchdown Minutemen. Wow, an almost impossible pass to defend, and it goes for six. Yep, the defense would have needed 12 guys on the field that time.
And he adds the extra point. been for this quarterback Kirk well he's putting up huge numbers and I think you can go back and look at every throw that he's made it's like a human highlight film in one football game and let's also recognize the offensive line this defense has been coming after this quarterback and to the offensive line's credit they've given him enough time to be able to read the defense and make good throws they moved the ball very effectively on their last drive which ended with a touchdown the defense has been talking it over on the sideline trying to make some corrections let's see if they can stop them this time Picked off, and that'll seal it up. That's a great tackle at the 48. And that interception, I think, is going to do it, partner. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. Favorite play in football of your quarterback. Take a knee. This one's in the books. And our final score, Austin College, 42. UMass, 30. Kirk, go ahead and just give us your reflections on this game. Not the route you might have expected, but that shouldn't take anything away from this win. Boston College didn't necessarily play their best game today. They let them hang around for a little bit more than they would have liked, but it's still a nice win. Here's a look at today's Player of the Game. I want to thank you for tuning in for another game of NCAA Football 13. For ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports in conjunction with EA Sports, and my partners Kirk Herbstreet and Aaron Andrews, Brad Nessler saying see you next time.